Okay, so I didn't realize that my microphone was working here in the laptop. I thought I thought I wasn't getting it to work, but uh, here we go. Um, I'm going to be using HeeksCAD here. Um, we've got SketchSolve, uh, another open source project hooked up to it. It's a geometric constraint solver. So it's going to let us uh, solve sketch problems. Um, anyhow, I'm uh, going to illustrate two things. I'm going to show how to make a sketch here. Bear with me. My This is on a virtual machine, so it's going to be sort of slow here. The lines don't go very well. Anyway, I've made a sketch. Now what I want to do to fiddle with it a little bit easier is turn off the selection filter for sketches. So that way I can control click two lines and make them perpendicular. I'm just going to make all these lines perpendicular. Um, so I can illustrate a point here. Um, okay. So now if I click on an endpoint, I can move the, the sketch around. So here we have the geometry of the sketch. And over here I've got a, a terminal up that's displaying uh, some debug information. So each set of three lines here represents a solution. If f new is below uh, 1 times 10 to the negative 14th about, we'll accept the solution. So these are very good solutions. Um, taking eight or, you know, between seven and nine hundred uh, iterations to solve each one of them, which is really not very long. But what I wanted to point out here is that the display over here, for some reason, isn't keeping up with the solutions. It looks like it's really sluggish, like the solver's having a really hard time. But in reality, you can see, if I do this, I've got lots of solutions coming up over here, but the geometry... Oh, dang it, I messed it up. But the geometry doesn't solve. Um, anyhow, maybe if you're interested in some other kinds of things. Um, well, maybe it's not best to demonstrate on this computer. But anyhow, um, 